Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be recreating a sandwich burger that's been taking over the internet and it is the real cheeseburger from Burger King but only in Thailand. And this burger is only going to be served for four days, July 11th through 14th in Thailand. And the reason why it's called the real cheeseburger is that it only contains cheese. 20 slices of American sliced cheese in between a sesame seed bun. That's it. Whoa. There's actually no burger at all. It is just cheese. Now, a number of people have tried it and have shared their experiences. And from what I've gathered, it's not exactly a positive experience. And what I found really surprising in a few of these videos that I watched, the cheese isn't even melted. It's just stacked up, although very artfully stacked, which I'm looking forward to. I think that's the part that I'm looking forward to most and might be the reason why I wanted to make and try this is because the cheese is arranged in a star pattern. Although in the promotional image, they are stacked a bit haphazardly and they have more of an oozy look to them. They applied maybe some heat to it so it just oozes but it still maintains the separate slices in the image. But from the taste test videos the cheese doesn't look melted at all. So let's go ahead and try this. There's not going to be much cooking involved but I'm, I'm very curious about it all. Alrighty let's go ahead and get started. Now this one's going to be really simple. We just need two things, two very specific things. We need seeded sesame buns and a bunch of American sliced cheese, which I happen to have. Ta -da! I got craft singles. I got 24. These happen to be on sale. It was $4.99. This sandwich sells in Thailand for $3.10 US dollars. That's been of course converted and a regular cheeseburger apparently goes for $3.70. So pretty good deal. A lot of processed cheese food got some buns here but I only need one so from what I could tell the buns were at least toasted so let's go ahead and do that cute sesame seed bun already sliced give it a little toast don't be shy a little arid extra dry why do I remember that get a little closer with arid extra dry that's an old old ad do they even make arid anymore arid means dry never knew that as a kid now I know because I've learned some things, I hope. American. As a kid, I was fascinated by this product and it was the wrapping that I found so very interesting. This is not something that my mom would buy and as a kid, I don't remember particularly liking it. Even now, I'm just kind of mm, about it, but I still am fascinated by the wrapping, the plastic encasedness of the plastic, you know? It's shiny, it's glossy, it's completely hermetically sealed. And then you've got this flappage, right? You got that flap to peel. That is just, this whole experience, this whole tactility of all of this, it's just, it's a throwback, right? Nothing about that has changed since I was a kid. And I like that. Now I just have to do that 19 more times. Who thought of this packaging? I want to know, you know, who, who thought of this? What does this look like in the factory? There must be a how they make that kind of video on processed cheese food. I mean, it's just so artificial. I mean, oh look, I just, I never noticed that. The craft singles have a little bumpy part on this little flap, a half inch of textured bumps right on this flap. So it makes it easier to grip it. That's considerate, I like that. Oh, but I tore it. Something about this is like 35 millimeter film or something, you know? It's just, or Polaroid. Yes, that's what this reminds me of, Polaroids. I think it's the dimensions and the squareness of the cheese that reminds me of Polaroid film. We have a whole section of my life that was completely documented with this Polaroid camera. And it was a, it was an SX70 sonar. So it was one that popped up, super cool. And it had a little sonar detector so that it would autofocus, 
if you have an SX70 Polaroid camera that works. Love it, love it, love it well. It's an amazing camera. They still make film for it and uh, take lots of pictures. Okay. Yes, on that note, buns are toasted. Normally they would do that on the flat top, I'm sure, but not here. So we're gonna put the cheese on this way. Then the next layer, we're gonna give it a, a turn. Do you see that? And then we're gonna copy that pattern again. Now, since my buns are just recently toasted, I'm thinking I might get some cheese sag. You know, a little bit of flopping. Oh wait, keep count. Keep our wrappers. Okay, we're on four. So if we just take away four of these, I should be good. See what's happening here? It's kind of star pattern. Now I don't want to tear the cheese, so I've got to be careful with my unwrapping. Oh, see? Rip the cheese. Ripping the cheese and cutting the cheese, I mean, it's sort of the same thing, isn't it? This is fun. I like the stacking cheese business. I knew I would. <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's the real reason why I'm making this sandwich is because I wanted to stack cheese. A lot of cheese. Is this even cheese? It is cheese. I mean, this is the cheese I like on my burgers. This mat, th this, there's a bit of a Freudian slip there. I didn't mean to say nasty. I meant to say plasticky, melty cheese. Truly, this is the cheese of choice for a cheeseburger. One th Look at this pile of plastic. It's terrible. I imagine at Burger King Thailand, the cheese is already sliced and not wrapped in plastic. Even at my deli, in my supermarket, you can buy American cheese sliced for you at the deli department. And they've just got a long kind of rectangle of it and you don't have to do all this plastic. Oh my gosh, look how tall it is. Truly, it's like a candle. I probably could light this. Look at that thing of beauty. Now we put its little hat on top. Boom. to be honest because it's just going to be processed cheese food but it looks great I am going to slice it though because I've got to know what that cross section looks like doom, doom, doom. here we go oh it's sticky it's difficult to slice Take a look at that interior. Alrighty, lovelies, let's go ahead and give the real cheeseburger a taste. It's a lucky mouse. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hmm. No. 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 That's not good. It's just way too much cheese. Kind of gives me another perspective of sliced American cheese. I remember as a kid going to my neighbor's house and we would have a slice of American cheese as a snack along with a slice of bologna. And I never really cared for either one of them, but it was fun to fold it in half and into pieces and to nibble it. And the bologna, we always would make <laughs> the bologna snowflakes by folding it and then taking bites and making little designs in them. But eating 20 slices in one bite it's just too much. It's just like a block of Velveeta, essentially. When you bite into it, it just compresses into one brick of Velveeta. You've got a bit of bread. The bread doesn't really do much, even though it's been toasted. It just gets compressed and you don't taste it. It's very salty and tangy. And because it's not melted, you don't get any of that lovely plastic plasticity that happens when you melt or heat. American cheese. That's what I love. I love how it coats the outside of a burger. It just adds some fattiness, richness, a slickness, and it works really well. Just one slice, but a brick of 20 slices doesn't work. 
it doesn't feel good in your mouth, it's actually kind of gritty. It definitely feels more concentrated because it is and just more amplified because there's just a lot more of it. I didn't realize how kind of inherently tangy American cheese is. There's a acidity to it, which I kind of find surprising. And there's a dairyness, it's a cheese-like, but it's a processed cheese food. It's not a true cheese. And that's what makes it kind of special too. But in this form, in this format, served this way, doesn't taste good to me at all. The presentation I think is phenomenal. I particularly like the sesame seed details along with the arrangement of the cheese like this. This is fantastic. Love it. It reminds me of a craft project where you take a small Reader's Digest size <laughs> book with newsprint in it and you can fold the pages and it creates this really wonderful conifer looking tree. I remember doing that as a craft project again as a kid. So there you have it. I made the real cheeseburger at home. If you're in Thailand, I would say go ahead and skip it. Save your money, unless you want to create content, of course, then by all means, give it a go and let me know. Now, I'm just having a flashback. This reminds me of a McDonald's recipe I did where they were serving in another country Spam Burger with Oreo. If you missed that video, I'll put a link to that down below. Alrighty, my lovelies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Get in touch with me. Love hearing from you. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.